Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to start a new series of lash extensions. I am a licensed esthetician and a certified lash artist. I'm gonna be doing a lash extension series and this video is gonna be starting with beginner classic individual lashes. I'm gonna show you the products that I use, my tips and tricks. So please like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned. So I'm gonna start off with a fresh mannequin head. And the lash extensions that I'll be using are from Tea Dance Company. They are on Instagram. I'm gonna be using the 0.15 diameter lashes. They're C curl and I'm gonna be using 19 millimeters. So they're gonna be pretty long, but they're just for practice purposes. I'm also probably not gonna use these iPads, but just in case, I'm gonna just show you guys. These are the gel iPads that I use underneath the lashes sometimes or for the most part i'll be using tape and i will also be using the tea dance lash company glue wipes anytime you get glue on your tweezers you want to wipe them off so that way you can continue lashing and the tweezers that i'll be using are also from tea dance lash company they are the vetus uh, lashes and those are going to be used for isolation so anytime you need to isolate your lashes, those are perfect for isolating. Um, next, I'm gonna be showing you guys the other products that I use, such as Lash Extensions Tape. Um, you can use any type of medical grade tape or sensitive tape, but this is the type of tape I do use to tape down bottom lashes. Um, so that is a good product to have on hand. And then next I'll be showing you guys the mascara wand. And I love these. You want to brush the lashes throughout your lash application. Just helps them just be more perfect and pretty and seamless. And then I'm also gonna be using a glue cup. Um, I like to use those to put glue in and they're disposable. So you just throw them right away when you're done. The tweezers that I'm using are also Vita's tweezers, but these are for volume lash extensions, and I do have glue on them because I've been practicing. I haven't been using them on any clients, but these are for volume. Um, I will have to do another video to show you guys just regular tweezers, but I love those for application. And the Tea Dance Hero, it's like a super lash adhesive. I'm gonna be using this as well. So far, so good. I like that glue. It's very fast when it comes to drying. It's like one second dry. I also have a backup glue on hand. Um, I have a local supply, lash supply. I'm in Texas and they have a lash store near me that sells lash extensions called the Lash Supply. And that's where I got this glue from. And then of course I have some practice lashes that I can put on the mannequin head so I can show you guys how to create flawless lash extensions. So I'm putting some glue in the glue cup. Honestly, that is a lot of glue, but um, I'm gonna be lashing out of boredom tonight, so bear with me. But yes, you can just use one, you know, one drop of glue, that's all you need. And right here, this is really my base. Sometimes I put three lash extensions um, to start out with, and I create gaps and spaces to kind of build a foundation. You don't wanna put lash extensions close together, otherwise they will stick together, and that will be all bad. So I'm gonna take the C-curl, I'm sorry, 19 millimeter lashes. Um, I'm gonna dip them in glue and I'm just gonna start applying the individual lashes. Um, what I do is I like to dip it in the glue. I like to kind of press the false lash on the natural lash, kind of tap it on there a little bit so that way it gets nice and tacky from the glue. And then eventually it'll just stick on there and that is really key whenever you're adding lashes on. You don't wanna just hurry up and throw it on there. You really wanna to try to like tap the false extension on the natural lash, get that glue nice and tacky so that way it's sealed, it's secure, 
and then you can move on to your next lash without having to worry about anything falling off or being lopsided or anything like that and I like to jump around. Um, you'll see me put a lash extension on one side of the eye, then I'll move over to the other side of the eye. And that's just because you don't want to apply a whole cluster of lashes close together. Otherwise, the natural lashes will start to stick. It'll be battery tension. Your customer's eyelashes are gonna be clumpy, stuck together, and they're not gonna last a very long time. So you wanna make sure that you do a flawless, seamless application which means that the lashes stay apart you do not want them to get stuck together
now what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the tape. Now, mind you, this is a mannequin. This is not a real person. So unfortunately, <laughs> the lashes um, were kind of stuck underneath the tape. Um, in real life, that does not happen. But essentially, I had to remove the tape because I did put the strip on top of the tape. Um, so ultimately, I'm just removing the tape off and now i'm just gonna brush out these false lashes kind of show you guys um how i filled in you notice that on these lashes when i do start to brush you're gonna notice that they're not sticking together they're not pulling they are separated i can brush through them so seamlessly and that's a perfect lash set thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for my series don't forget to like comment and subscribe love you guys and have a blessed day bye